Hey, what's up? It's Jared with State of Tech, and I wanted to show you how to cancel your Apple Music subscription from your iPhone. Now, this is going to be the same for canceling it on an iPad. And the reason that I'm canceling is simply because I have too many music subscriptions and Apple Music is uh, it's cross platform, but I just I prefer Spotify over Apple Music. And so I wanted to I'm not going to go into that detail, but I wanted to just show you how to cancel. Um, now, Apple doesn't necessarily make it extremely easy to cancel, so here's how you do it. You open up your Apple Music app, you're going to tap on For You down at the bottom. You'll see an icon maybe with your picture or just like a basic profile image, like a default one. You'll tap on that and it's going to show you your, your account here um, with, you know, your recently listened to, your followers and all of that stuff. and whether you whether or not you have uh, any music playing um, down below here and it's kind of being hidden behind not playing right now for me is view account I'm gonna want to click on view account and then down at the bottom view Apple ID this is gonna take me into my Apple ID so that I can look at my subscriptions and all that stuff on my iPhone 10 I have to double click uh, but you may have to use your thumbprint or something like that or a password in order to get in here um, now I'm in my account settings for my uh, my Apple ID and I need to scroll down to subscriptions. Now when I open up subscriptions, it's going to show me any subscriptions that I've had across any of my Apple devices. You can see that I had um, a guitar app, a uh, Just Dance that my kids enjoyed using, and a couple of other subscriptions. So I'm going to tap on my active one, which is my Apple Music subscription and I can go in and cancel that from here. So it'll take a minute to load in my subscription and I can see my plan that I have here. I can also change it. I mean, if I wanted to go to family or if I wanted to uh, go to an individual for a year and you get a little bit of a deal for paying for a year at a time, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit cancel. Now notice that it allows me to use my subscription through the end of that term, which is April 10th for me. And right now it's the middle of March, so I, I just paid for my subscription about a week and a half ago. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on confirm to confirm the cancellation of, uh, of that. And now it is canceled. You can see that it is going to expire on April 10th. Um, there are no check marks next to the options here for what plan that I have. Um, and it will continue to show up as an active subscription until after April 10th for me or whatever that subscription date ends for you. Uh, so even though it says active, it's no longer active, it will actually expire and you should get an email confirmation uh, about that as well. So I wanted to make a video about this because it's not extremely easy to notice how to cancel the subscription. If you go into the settings for the app or click around anywhere else, you're never going to find it. Um, technically, you can also do this through iTunes on your computer uh, or by you know going and checking out your Apple ID by logging into Apple's website and viewing your subscriptions that way. There are a couple of different ways to do it. But if you wanted to do it from your iPhone, this is how you do it. And so I hope this video helped. Uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, ask down in the comment section below. And for more stuff, you can subscribe to our channel or head over to stateoftech.net. Thanks a lot.